my full names are Given Zulu. I work for AM Motors Limited as a branch manager. I manage the affairs of uh, Ndora branch. And uh, this Ndora branch has got uh, a bigger catchment area. Also control the movement of fleet uh, up to uh, northwestern, uh, northern. Uh, we are transport contractors, meaning we carry goods for our clients and goods which is more than uh, 30 tons. Uh, that is uh, our, our main focus. It is within Zambia and uh, external route. Uh, by external route, I mean uh, we go to countries like uh, Mozambique. We carry goods to Mozambique, uh, uh, Malawi, and now we introduced uh, in Dar es Salaam. And uh, we are yet uh, to start probably the route uh, for uh, uh, Congo, dear. Yeah, Zabita facility that I've actually seen here, they are so much advanced. So much advanced to an extent whereby this will even, of course, with the, with the partnership and the companionship of, uh, of, of, of Notec, the way you've, 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 you've merged, this, it will really help the students to able to compete even out there, students that we, 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 we saw or that we know from other learning institutions like the best. So this institution is able to compete with those. Let's say, let's talk of, uh, of uh, probably students from UNSA, CBU, and other, other institutions of higher learning. So NOTEC, uh, of course, with the companionship of Zamita should be considered among them. A student that uh, we are trained, we are equipped with idea and the knowledge, really to go into the engineering fraternity. Definitely, uh, this uh, companionship, Zamita and uh, Notec uh, companionship, is very positive. By virtue of what I've seen physically, I believe so much that the student produced here offloaded out that society, more especially in the industrial setup, may run without any setbacks. Especially that, especially this time around where, where we've got uh, so many economical challenges. With the coming of Zamita, this will, this will really help. This will really help and be able to able to, to enhance development, especially industrial, industrial organizations, like my organization. Yeah, you know, the, the work, especially the workmanship, the workmanship itself is what actually we look upon in trying to ensure that we have got the good, uh, the good personnel, uh, the good workmanship with the good, uh, with the good you know, in attributes, and able, able to withstand pressure, industrial pressure that is. Like in my organization, we deal in heavy duty. Heavy duty also involves repairing, maybe an air system, maybe a hydraulic system, you know? Uh, yeah, so, so students should be, a should be people that are really able to instill the knowledge and the idea learned from the institution like, like what I've seen here at Notec. No doubt about it. This will really improve the society. The role of women is very cardinal, very, very important. We need to break away the issue of uh, uh, these tasks only performed by men only it should be a thing of the past, especially in engineering, so that we border away the notion of saying women can never excel, women can never compete with the duties that are being undertaken by men. 
women, women they play a bigger, bigger role in engineering setup, especially in like in my organization. Women are most welcome. You know, encourage even the other women out there, you know, to do the same. You, know, you can even pursue the pursue the same tasks, the same you know career which men do. Women can. No difference in any way. And it's, 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 it's not even difficult at all. Yeah, women as at my organization, we really encourage them. We really encourage them to undertake automotive engineering because that's our core values of our business. Nothing else. So we need so much women to come aboard and join us so that we can have uh, the eco ecosystem. Yeah, we can we can have uh, the, the, you know a, a balanced workforce. You know what? Eh? Uh, to, to to I mean to an extent whereby we drive away that negative notion which people had. If a man, you know you know you know can he, can he, can he assemble a gearbox, what what difficulty is there with a woman to do the same job? It's the same. It's the same. So women are most welcome, and they can do better in ensuring that uh, we, 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 de we develop our economy and, and, in, and in the industry the, yeah, at large. Graduates were entering our, our workforce, uh, in the first place, I would say, they may be welcome. And, and uh, these should be a, a students, graduates, that were able to suit our environment, able to suit our environment, and able to follow the do's and don'ts in the, in the workshop, because the workshops have got different rules. Yeah, because there you find there's a workshop foreman, or so there's a, you know, a workshop manager and the like, and should be students that are, that are role model, you know what I mean? You know, a, a articulative, you know, composed, you know, self-esteem, yeah, so that they can actually discharge that which they, they learned from an institution like Inotech, it is, you know, because I believe uh, these students that come from here, I mean, to me, I value them to be the best so far. They've been set aside and very accommodative, especially to upcoming graduates. Yeah, uh, we need also to balance up. We are ready to fuse them in, of course, uh, to, to an extent whereby uh, there should be graduates that are ready to undertake and understand and acquaint themselves, able to actually offload that idea which they, they got from an institution like this one, and also able to balance up with our industrial workmanship which we have there. And at the end of it all, we achieve a final goal of developing our company and also a, a, a development at, at large as a, as a nation, especially if we do the right thing in engineering as in automotive equipment.